Well, the sounds of summer are loud day and night. So what is making all that noise and what aren't we seeing so much of this summer? Joining us this morning with some answers is my favorite bug guy ever, Dr. Michael Rapp. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Well, good morning, Jennifer. How are you today? I am doing great. And what is that handsome uh, little bug behind you there? Hey, this is my spirit uh, insect. This is uh, what we call Mega Ibison aludi. This is our dust singing cicada. So as, as we move into the twilight zone every evening, this is the guy that's going to come out and begin to call for his mate. So. Can we run the audio on that? Yeah, let's hear the cicada. Oh, yeah. That's what we're hearing all afternoon long and then into the evening. Well, there's there are several that sing in the daytime, but this one specializes just at twilight. So a lot of people will confuse this with the Katie did. Uh, the Katie did will basically kick in as soon as the cicadas stop when it gets very dark. Now we're going to hear our Katie did. Here's a picture of the Katie did. And let me play you a little bit of the cicada of uh, the Katie did call. Okay. All right, that's so cool because some people will swear they're hearing them actually say Katie did and then Katie didn't. And it's interesting. Katie did. Katie did. <laughs> right, Katie and they did. pick up right after the Katie cicadas. Did. Katie did. Yeah, you got it. How so do you know when to start and stop? It's so cool. Yeah, these are basically the ones that are going to be singing during the uh, early twilight hours, the daytime, of course, early twilight. But as we get into full night, that's when the cage kids are going to kick in and sing all night long. So, Jen, another one I'm getting a lot of phone calls about is this one right here. This is called the cicada killer wasp. Ooh. This wasp actually captures those cicadas we just saw, stuffs them down a hole, lays an egg, so lay an egg on those things. The egg hatches into a larva that eats the cicada underground. But I'm getting a lot of calls on this when people think this is the dreaded murder hornet, the <laughs> Asian giant hornet. No, it's not. You not can the see here hornet. it's got a black abdomen with some white bands. Uh -huh. This is our murder hornet. We learned a lot about this one earlier this year. So these two are very different, easy to tell apart. These guys are harmless. They're not going to harm you. They're going to make some holes in your yard as they bury those cicadas. All right, and still no murder hornets in Maryland, right? No, only in the Pacific Northwest. We, we've got years and decades to worry about this one. Let's forget about it. We're going to take it off the table for now. All right, and unfortunately, we're just not seeing that many butterflies this year. Why is that? Well, you know, last year was a spectacular year for butterflies, the best in a decade. This year, not so much. There, we're having a debate about why this happens. My colleagues and I believe there are two factors at work here. Number one, we had kind of a, a, an early start in February, warm temperatures. Some of the butterflies may have become active. Then we had a couple late frosts that could have put a kibosh on their population. The other thing we know about biology is last year was a great year for butterflies. That means the things they eat butterflies, tiny parasitic wasps mm -hmm. and frankly birds, they love to eat butterfly caterpillars. So as the populations of the prey go up, the butterflies, we think that some of these natural enemies some of the things that eat butterflies also went up and probably lowered their populations for 2020. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this is a better year. The monarchs are here. Maybe these guys can get off the ground in 2021 is going to be a good year, not only for butterflies, but also for cicadas. Dr. Ralph, the bug guy, keeping it cool outside. If people want to find you, where can they look? Well, you can always go to Bug of the Week, uh, my blog. I'll be posting Monday a story about these butterflies and maybe why they're not so abundant as they have been in years past. All right. Thanks for joining us. Have a great rest of your weekend. Always a pleasure. Stay safe out there and get outside. You too. So fun to find out what that noise is at night.